Hey guys, quick video here on how to wire a 3 quarter inch LED as a side marker and turn signal on a Jeep JK Wrangler. This is a 2014 JKU. I ended up going with the VLED front turn signals. I've got them all wired up in here right now. And the truck light side markers. I got my truck light side markers from Find It Parts at www.findaparts.com. The part number for the LED is 33285Y and you also need to order the grommet and it's 33700. I initially bought the Poison Spider 3 wires in clear amber I thought it would make the wiring wiring up as a turn signal much easier and I'm sure it would have but I just wasn't happy with the color of the poison spiders the markers on the front were orange and the poison spiders were too red and this is the clear amber so here's the poison spider 3 wire I just like the truck lights better even when they're off. The truck lights they look really clear. Poison spiders, there's green in there. You can it looks like a little circuit board. You don't see that with the truck lights, which I like a lot better. Even the grommets that come with the poison spiders. There's such a recessed lip in there that they don't even fit snug the truck lights fit the LEDs fit inside the grommets much nicer that's not even an issue you can see there's like a sixteenth of an inch all the way around there still for dirt to get in whatever this is a very, this is a perfect fit. There's no play. So I like the truck lights better for a lot of reasons. The color's better, the fit's better, the lens is clearer, you don't see that green circuit board in the back of it. But it is two wires, so we need a solution to be able to wire it up to function as a marker and a turn signal, and this is what I did. So we've got a white and a black coming out the back of it. And to turn it into a three wire, I went to a place online called Canadian Cruiser Customizing. And I bought a dual circuit converter LED two wire to three wire. They're $2.99 each. I bought two of them, spent six bucks, shipping was $6.25. And it got here in a few days, USPS. So what this does is they've got the diodes in here already shrink wrapped in the shrink tubing this is this is how it comes you've got one wire on the left your diodes in the middle in the shrink tubing and then two wires coming out the other side one to two so you take the one wire end, strip a little bit of the shielding off the end of it, use one of these shrink butt connectors, so you just take One in, stick it in the butt connector, take your crimping tool, and then just go ahead and crimp that down.
So it's this is what's happening here. It's from the black to the single red and then you come down to where it splits into two. Now what I did with the VLEDs is I bought this little six inch extension and what this allows me to do is cut into these wires without cutting into any of this wiring harness that comes with the VLEDs. So if I ever want to get rid of this or if I was to make a mistake this is five bucks that I spent on this little uh, extension piece here that I could experiment with make sure that I can make everything function properly everything does and it's wired in a way that that's how I'm going to keep it if I ever want to get rid of this stuff I just go from here to there get rid of all this so the part number for the extension if you're interested is V3 underscore EXT underscore 6 underscore 3 so that is V3 underscore EXT and then it's the 6 inch 3 wire extension so what I did is I cut off this shielding and then I just cut it in half all three wires if you want you could offset them by an inch each wire and then that way you won't have all three butt connectors together like this they'll be offset and it'll be able to fit into some wire loom a little neater than what I'm going to have here. But what this does is inside your stock turn signal socket you take out your incandescent bulb and then you've got a piece that looks just like it on the bottom that plugs into the socket which you then plug in the extension to which the extension then plugs into the harness for the VLED and which also includes the resistor which comes with some three-sided tape or double-sided tape which I think I'm just gonna stick right there and then you don't need to take off your your headlights like I did but I think it might make it easier for me to just there's a lot more wire harness here than there was in the stock configuration so I'm just gonna jam it all up in there and it might be a little bit easier for me to zip tie some stuff off with that headlight removed but that's about it guys there is no cutting of stock wires you can go back to a stock setup if you're ever gonna sell your Jeep or you for whatever reason want to go back to it this is an expensive solution you're looking at probably 130 bucks for the VLED setup including the extension and shipping and then what is it like another 10 20 15 bucks for the wire converter and then the truck light LEDs I think were somewhere around 15 bucks each something like that but this works the side marker blinks in unison with the front turn signal always whether the lights are on or off it's in unison which I like uh, some of the other methods it'll go back and forth in unison and then out of unison when lights are on or off or what have you so that's it guys if you got any questions or anything to you'd like to comment please do in the comment section below love to hear from you and hope this helps